Now we are going to look at how we can handle dynamic web tables in Selenium WebDriver. Now, when you uh, work on Selenium automation, right, on different websites or applications, you will find uh, different web tables, right? Now, the types of HTML tables basically present uh, in the applications are either it could be a static table, right, where the number of rows and columns are fixed, and there could be dynamic tables, like. Uh, the number of rows and columns are not fixed, right? So there are a particularly few tags which are used uh, in web tables, right? So generally, uh, when you have a web table, so that element will have a table tag, right? Then uh, if you have, uh, like if you have rows and columns, then they are represented by uh, column is represented by TD and uh, rows are represented by TR. Similarly, uh, the headings of the table are represented by TH, right? So when you are uh, trying to identify your web table or rows and columns, these tags could be handy, right? So you can use uh, the tag name, by dot tag name, and uh, then you can uh, manipulate and find your respective rows and columns for your table, right? So these are pretty useful. So I'm going to show you a live uh, demo of how you can work with web tables in Selenium WebDiver, right? So there are a few uh, techniques you can see through which you can actually identify a particular cell in a, in a row or column, right? So you cannot always give the X path or any static path of a particular cell because that might be changing. Right, so, and and generally there are no unique uh, properties of a particular cell. So it's very difficult to actually identify the cells, right? So let's see a particular scenario, right? So for this demo, I'm going to use a uh, trading uh, or uh, indices website, right? So the indexes are displayed in on this website. It's called uh, money.radiv.com slash indices. Right, so you can go to this website and there I'll be taking up a web table, right? And we'll pick a scenario here, like what we want to do. So this is the website. So there are several uh, indices which are mentioned here, right? And you can also get in a real time quote of a particular company, right? So this is our scenario. Uh, we are going to this take this uh, particular table. So it is a web table. If I inspect on this particular table, you will see it has a table tag. Right. So this is our table. And then you see there is uh, there are the headings, then we have the body, we have rows and inside rows then we have columns right now our scenario is like we want to get the previous close value of this particular index right so snp bsc 500 i want to get this particular value right so now you will say that uh, i can directly take the x path of this value and i can uh, get get using get text i can get this price but uh, this might be changing every day, right? Oh, it will not remain same. It may not remain same. Um, first of all, uh, at the same location, right? So if you put any X path or any any path, right? It may fail. Plus, if I inspect on this, right? So there is no property I can use, any unique property. So it's just inside a column, right? This value and there are lots of columns so there is no way you can uniquely identify this the only way around is you need to uh, find the web table and then you need to find which row and which column this is present and then get the text of that right so how can we do that so the logic here is um, we will first identify the web table right and then I will find the uh, total number of rows present in this, right? And we'll iterate through each column, right? And we will get this cell text value and we'll compare it 
with this uh, value, right? SNP BSE 500. So we'll go through each of these rows uh, and we'll compare this first first column value. So if it matches, then we'll pick up this text, which will be the price, right? So this is what the logic is. Now let's see how we can implement this, right? Now, if you notice, uh, there are more columns which are actually hidden and we need to click on show more so that it displays all the columns here, all the rows here, right? So first we'll do that. Let's first click on that, uh, that show more uh, link, right? So I will use by dot maybe X path. Let's see what's the identifier here. So it has got an ID, so not much trouble. Let's use the ID here and we'll use this and we'll then click on it, right? Okay, so once we click on this and it is expanded, it shows us the complete table. Now let's go to this table and see how we can identify this table, right? So so this is our table and luckily we have got the ID. So if an ID is not present, you can identify by other ways, right? So since it has got an ID and also I need to get to the body, right? So that I can take all the rows and columns. So let's use an XPath here. Driver dot find element by dot XPath and then we will use table inside that we will use id equals so data table right and then we are going to go to t body right so this is our x path now let's store this in a web element because we are going to use that, right? So uh, maybe web table. Okay, so this is our web table element. Now we need to get all the rows in this table, right? So how do we do that? We will take a first a list of web element and these are all our rows, right? So we will use driver.findElements. And as I said earlier, we'll be using the tag name, right? So the tag name will be TR, right? Or what it is? Yeah, so it's represented by TR. So these are all our rows. Now, if you want to get a count of your rows, right? So you can do that. Um, and rows count equals to rows dot size, right? So this will give the count of the total number of rows. Now let's iterate through this um, rows, right? Each row. So we'll start with I zero and then we will go to each row. So rows I plus plus, right? So here we'll use the rows count. And then inside this, so we're iterating through each row right now. Now when it gets to the first row, we want to get all the columns here, right? So Let's use another list which will store all our columns. So columns here we will use again driver dot find elements and by dot by dot tag name of TD right. Okay, so I just should not use this double slash here. So this is this is our columns. Again, um, I can get the columns count here again, right? So columns count is columns dot size, right? 
now let's use another loop right because i want to again iterate through each row each column right so columns um j less than columns count okay so just a minute since uh we should be using the web table here not the driver and here we should be using the rows right because we are trying to find uh, or actually uh, not okay so it will be rows dot get off i right so first row whatever and then inside that we'll try to find our columns right okay so here we were we are going to iterate through each column so inside this right we will try to get the cell text of each column so what it will be it will be columns dot get of i right so yeah columns dot get of i and then we will try to get the text here okay now we'll put a condition here if cell text equals or dot equals what's the value s p 500 index right we're trying to find this so let's copy this text and we'll paste it here so if this is equal what we will do is we will try to print the value system dot out dot print ln inside this we will try to print the value of previous close right so previous close value is right and then here what we will do is um, columns dot get okay so this won't be i this will be j right so we are getting the text here now as uh, we know right that this is in column uh, the index of the column is one right so in zero zero eight position it is this indices and previous close is in one right so that we can use because that's not going to change the previous close column value right so let's use that we'll directly put here one and then we will get text here and we'll print it out right so this is our whole code to to get the get this value right now let's check this out whether it's working or not Okay, so it should open that indices page. It should go to the link and expand that web table. Then it should search for that. Uh, it should go through each um, row and each column. And it will try to search this text, right? And once it finds it, then it will uh, print the value of the previous close right so let's see okay so here is our previous close value right it is simple uh, you just need to understand the logic here and accordingly you can 
develop your code, right? So there are no inbuilt methods uh, for web table provided by Selenium. You need to uh, write your own logic, right? So there are lots of things you can do. So once you can get the text right, you can also click on this text and go to some other page or you can validate each of the cells, right? Whichever cell you want, you can validate that. Once you get the row, right, it, it becomes easy once you get the row here, right? So under that same row, you can then manipulate uh, which column you want to use. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you for how to handle dynamic web tables, right? Um, in the next section, we'll be seeing uh, how, uh, what are the common exceptions which occur in Selenium, how you can handle, um, basically how can do ex ex uh, exceptional handling in selenium webdriver right